Hey everybody, my name is Hannah Hushka and I am an incoming freshman at Front Range Community College. I am taking this course online to start getting ahead on my prereq classes and to get a little insight on how classes work in college and how hard they are compared to high school classes. I am taking this course because I am wanting to become a nurse and get into Front Range's nursing program. Once I finish the two years at Front Range, I am going to transfer over to CU Denver and do some hands-on learning at the Onshoots Medical Campus where I will finish my last two years and hopefully become a NICU nurse. A NICU nurse is a neonatal nurse who works with newly born premature babies who cannot fend for themselves and need the assistance of modern day technology. I have always had a love for babies ever since I was younger and when my cousins were admitted into the neonatal intensive care unit, I got to see what the nurses were like and what they did and immediately I fell in love and wanted to be someone who provides care and love to others, but to also support and cheer on the good times and the bad. I am excited for this next chapter of my life as I just finished high school at Stanley Lake with a 4.0 GPA. I'm a very smart, loyal, carefree, and tenacious kind of person who likes to spend time with my family and friends. I love to be outdoors, camping, hunting, or fishing, but I also like to be inside getting my nails done. I have a super big heart to animals and I love dogs. I have a dog of my own who is a miniature schnauzer who just turned four a few days ago. She is my little fur baby and I love her so much. I also love playing soccer and I have ever since I was four and I used to play volleyball and softball. I'm a very athletic minded student who loves to work out every day and eat as healthy as I can, but sometimes I do splurge, but don't we all, ha ha. However, even though I do love eating healthy, my favorite kind of food is Italian or Mexican, and in specific, I like chicken alfredo and fajitas or the Mexican chicken casserole, in which none of these options are super healthy, but for lunches, I do eat a salad and I do watch my calorie intake to try to lose some of the weight for summer. Oh, and hey, here's a picture of me when I got my senior pictures done. I cannot wait to tackle the course material and to learn more about human nutrition. What I have listed above is the ad to King Supers and on the ad you will notice how all the healthy food is blown up and on the front page of the ad and all the junk food is more in the smaller icons and not listed or shown as much. Stores are trying to promote to eat healthier but it always seems that when you try and eat healthier it is way more expensive and harder to eat healthy because of the price. With this being said more people are likely to eat unhealthy because it is much more cheaper and convenient. When you are at the grocery store, it is easy to find the foods that are organic or the healthier foods because, for example, the organic foods will more than likely say organic or the logo on the food will be green. In the sections where the food is, for example, produce, they will more than likely have the foods there where one section is the normal produce and right next to it is the organic produce, so it isn't that hard to find where the organic stuff is. This is the same for when you go down an aisle, more than likely overhead there will be a sign of what food is down that aisle and the tag will more than likely be green for an indication of where the organic or healthier food is. There's also a possibility that the tags will just indicate where the healthy food is among all the other frozen food options, but once again, it is going to be more expensive. Super marketing techniques that help customers buy healthier foods than junkier foods is to have common sales on the foods where at times the organic foods are cheaper than the junkier foods. For example, last week when I was at the grocery store buying raspberries and not even thinking about it, I grabbed two tubs of the organic strawberries because they were on sale for two for six and the regular ones were $3.99 each. So when consumers go to buy certain foods, they will have a better deal on the organic foods than on the regular. Also another technique that stores like to do is that they like to put the organic foods before the normal foods because they realize that customers want convenience and ease when they are shopping. So when they put a food right out in front, the customer is more likely to grab that than to venture around the whole store. We all know that most of us at the grocery store are grabbing last minute items to go home to finish prepping a meal than to actually have the time to grocery shop. However, that is not always the case. I see the super marketing techniques as easy to find and easy to use, but I also see where there are areas for improvement on how they could advertise healthier eating better to the consumers. Personally, some of my 
my favorite restaurants that promote healthier eating have a section on the menu that reads at the lighter side or a healthy food insert tab that lists the more healthier foods on the restaurant's menu. Also, a lot of menus are now putting the calorie count next to the food so people like me can look at the calorie intake of the foods that they are eating so they can track it and find the best option for what they need or don't need to eat. I would say that there isn't a difficulty to finding the healthier foods because if you are concerned with the way you eat, you pay attention to where those foods are and honestly, if you are trying to eat healthy, you are more than likely going to eat at home so you can prepare a healthier meal over eating out for the convenience. I hope you all enjoy this video and let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Cheers and see you all soon.